I never thought something so balls out could be so boring. Hey guys, this is my review for King Arthur Legend of the Sword, the newest iteration of the King Arthur mythology. This is a film that's directed by Guy Ritchie and starring Charlie Hunnam. And two things that had a lot of people turned off right off the bat was one, Guy Ritchie was attached to it and Charlie Hunnam was in it. And they both had warranted reasons of disapproval. Charlie Hunnam has been in certain films. He was really popular, obviously, in uh, Sons of Anarchy, but every film performance he's been in, aside from Land, uh, Lost Land of Z, which I've heard is really good, he's been in, in them. Pacific Rim is a huge example of him being uh, in it. Whereas Guy Ritchie, he is still trying to get himself into the action genre. He's tried, tried it twice, really, with the Sherlock Holmes films, and those movies are alright. The one thing I will say about the Sherlock Holmes films, which also thankfully passes on into the King Arthur film, is that really, really interesting way of shooting action scenes with the locked camera or the movement, uh, post-movement. They did it a lot in the chase scene in the second Sherlock Holmes film when they were in the forest and like the reloading of the guns. All these really quirky, very in your face, very bringing you into the moment sort of camera angles. And they did that in King Arthur. So along with that, as well as giant 600 foot elephants starting off the beginning of the movie, it pulls you in. That's one thing that I will say. You really get brought into it right off the bat, but then you, it loses you just as quickly as it brings it in with an absolutely weird editing choices in the beginning of the film. There are some odd cuts, there's a lot of jumps, and there's odd silences. And by the time that the opening credits roll, which by the way you can barely read, the film has already lost you, and that's not a good sign. However, the editing, much like this film, is all over the place in terms of how good it is. The beginning of it's very awkward, but then it gets really, really good. There's a lot of narration over events, a lot of jumps back and forth in the timeline that are very rapid but very smooth. You've never seen a medieval film edited like this. And again, that is something that's different from the norm and I appreciated Guy Ritchie for doing that, as well as going completely balls out with the crazy mythology aspect of this story. The mages, the animals, the dark places, all this mythology is so cool to see Except it's not explained at all almost. The mage's power, there's this girl who has this ability to control animals. That's cool. How does she do that? And the powers vary too because to be honest, I don't know how the mages are having issue considering they are so OP. So what is really going on in this film is a loss to both you as well as the story. And as the film progresses, we see these really cool moments, these really cool action techniques, these camera techniques, this editing technique, the balls out crazy mythology, and the visuals are so cool, except you don't care. The final climax of this film, as cool as it looked, reminded me of the end of the Pirates of the Caribbean 3 movie, where I was just watching this incredible visual spectacle and I couldn't give a shit about what was happening. And unfortunately that's what happens with King Arthur here. The story, while tries to be different, follows the same formula and in the last 20 minutes you know everything that's gonna happen so you're just sitting there waiting for it to end. And again, the visual aspect is cool but you need to add a little bit of what the hell's going on dude you can't just bring us into this absolutely crazy ass world and not give any sort of explanation to it and what sucks too is that this film sets up a franchise but it actually does it proper it doesn't really care about that until the end I like where it places itself it's not gonna make enough money to warrant a sequel though which sucks because honestly this film lays the foundation for something much more interesting to follow and that is its biggest issue and it's not like a Superman vs Batman sort of setup it's just that this film is not as cool as what would follow if anything follows at all so in the end King Arthur the Legend of the Sword is a visually stimulating film 
but that's it. The aesthetics of the film are interesting, but that's it. There are parts that will bring you in, but there are more parts that will just take you out and bore you. So in the end, I will give King Arthur, The Legend of the Sword, a 2 out of 7. I'm sorry, but that's the best I can rate it. I would like to see certain aspects of the movie again, but as a whole, hell no. And there were so many interesting parts, like the part where he gets the sword back in the pile of mud, that was probably one of the most interesting shots in parts of the entire movie. And I was just yawning. Anyway guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. See you guys next time.